Hello, amazing explorers. Welcome back to Kids Get Smart TV, the coolest place to learn, imagine, and blast off into exciting new adventures in space. I'm your host, Esther, and today we're going to shrink down our space boots and travel to meet some very special, mysterious members of our solar system. They're not quite planets, but not just space rocks either. They're called dwarf planets. So buckle your seatbelts, grab your space snacks, and get ready to fly through the galaxy. Let's get started. To understand dwarf planets, we first have to understand what makes a planet a planet. In 2006, scientists at the International Astronomical Union redefined what counts as a planet. A planet must meet these three rules. It must orbit the sun. It must be round due to its own gravity. It must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit. That means it's the biggest thing nearby and has pushed away other space stuff. Dwarf planets only meet the first two rules. They orbit the sun and are round but haven't cleared their neighborhoods. That means they are sharing space with lots of other rocky objects. So, a dwarf planet is a celestial object that orbits the sun, is nearly round, but hasn't cleared its orbit. Most of them are found in two main areas. The Kuiper Belt, a vast icy region beyond Neptune, and the Asteroid Belt, between Mars and Jupiter. And now, let's meet our first and most famous dwarf planet, Pluto. Mate Pluto, the little planet that could, named after the Roman god of the underworld, and maybe even inspiring the Disney dog. Pluto was discovered in 1930 and was once the ninth planet in our solar system, but in 2006 it was reclassified as a dwarf planet. Why? Let's take a closer look. Facts about Pluto. Orbit Pluto orbits the Sun every 248 Earth years. Distance from the Sun, about 5.9 billion kilometers. Size, about 2,377 kilometers wide. Mass, about 0.2% the mass of Earth. Color, a mix of brown, white, and reddish areas. Temperature, around minus 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Shape, it is round and icy. Moons. Five moons, including Charon, which is almost half its size. Why is Pluto a dwarf planet? Because it hasn't cleared its orbit. It lives in the Kuiper Belt, surrounded by icy rocks and other mini-worlds. Fun fact. In 2015, NASA's New Horizons spacecraft flew by Pluto and sent back amazing photos. Pluto may have lost its planet title, but it's still loved by millions, and it's still one of the most fascinating places in our solar system. Meet Ceres, the closest dwarf planet to Earth, and the only one in the asteroid belt. Discovered in 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres takes about 4.6 Earth years to orbit the Sun. It's about 413 million kilometers from the Sun, and 940 kilometers wide one-fourth the size of our moon. Its mass is 0.01 Earths, with a dark gray color and bright white salty spots. Temperatures range from minus 100 to minus 38 degrees Celsius. Ceres has no moons and is round in shape. It's the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. Between Mars and Jupiter, made of rock and ice, it may have a salty underground ocean. Fun fact, in 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft found mysterious bright spots. These might be salty deposits, like giant glittery scars. Even though Ceres is small, it's big enough to be round and have its own gravity, but it still shares space with lots of asteroids. That's why it's a dwarf planet. Now let's fly far past Neptune to meet one of the strangest dwarf planets, Haumea. Named after the Hawaiian goddess of fertility, Haumea has a twist. It's shaped like an egg. Discovered in 2004, 
Haumea takes 285 Earth years to orbit the sun. It's 6.5 billion kilometers away and about 2,000 kilometers long, but squished. Haumea spins so fast it completes one rotation in just four hours. Fun fact, it's the only known dwarf planet with a ring. Isn't that amazing? Next up is Mekme, a reddish icy world in the Kuiper Belt. Discovered in 2005, it's named after the creator god of the Rapa Nui people. It takes about 310 Earth years to orbit the sun. Distance from the sun, around 6.85 billion kilometers. Size, about 1,430 kilometers wide. Color reddish brown. Temperature, about minus 240 degrees Celsius. Moons, one tiny moon named MK2. Make Make is a cold, quiet world with a surface of frozen methane and nitrogen. Meet Eris, the dwarf planet that shook up the solar system in 2005. Eris is so massive and shiny that scientists first thought it might be the 10th planet. But instead, it helped us understand what a dwarf planet really is. Discovered in 2005, Eris orbits the sun every 557 Earth years. It's over 10 billion kilometers from the sun, twice as far as Pluto. Eris is slightly smaller than Pluto but heavier with a bright silvery white color. It's extremely cold with one moon, Dysnomia. Its surface is likely covered in frozen nitrogen and methane, making it one of the brightest objects in the Kuiper Belt. Eris' discovery made scientists rethink what makes a planet a planet. Let's do a quick recap and explore the features that all dwarf planets share. They orbit the sun, they are mostly round in shape, but they haven't cleared their orbital paths of other space debris. Kuiper Belt Dwarfs, Pluto, Eris, Haumea, Mikmik, Asteroid Belt Dwarfs, only one series. Even small objects can have interesting features like moons, rings, bright surfaces, or even possible oceans under ice. Dwarf planets teach us a lot about how the solar system was formed. Wow, isn't space incredible? From Pluto's heart-shaped planes to Haumea's weird egg shape, Ceres's salty spots to Aries's icy brilliance, every dwarf planet is special and full of mystery. They may be small, but they remind us that even tiny things can be powerful, beautiful, and full of surprises. If you had to pick one to visit, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video, share it with your space-loving friends, and most importantly, subscribe to Kids Get Smart TV so you never miss another cosmic adventure with me. Until next time, keep dreaming big, stay curious, and remember, you're never too small to explore the universe. Bye-bye, little astronauts.